All right, welcome to Twisted Soto, episode 64. I'm over here on uh, Domination Server Cluster, Ragnarok Map, next to the Red Abbey, which is right there. And uh, it's episode 64. And we just had an event, and I got some cool armor blueprints for tech. And, uh, and we got a baby here. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that looks actually very cool. And it did get a mutation, so probably there was a color change or something. Uh, yeah, it looks like the primary color got mutated to purple. Or something like that. That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, shoot. Not sure I want that. It's a female. Uh, I'll just bring it out over here. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted was uh, as cool as that is. I wanted to get the red of the. Uh, I wanted to get the red of the uh, this animal on this green to make it m more like a, a very rich slice of uh, watermelon. I'm going for the watermelon look because I got I got her two colors, which are those greens, and his red should do it. Because what she's got now is like a pinkish kind of color, which is like a watermelon. It really is. But I think the red one would just look better. That's the only thing. So she can't do anything until later. And he can't do anything until later. This guy's. This guy was going to try to kill off. But anyway. So I got uh, too many animals. I've got, uh, oh no, never mind. I thought I had 250 already, and I don't. I only have 81. Never mind. I don't have to kill anything unless I don't, unless I don't need them. So anyway, just to update you, I did get 6 out of 6 stats on Thylacolio. These ladies, uh, one's mom, one's a sister, uh, one's her daughter, excuse me. And this is the son. Uh, he needs a saddle. Let's go get him a saddle. Should have a saddle somewhere. My bad. Let's go here. Check that out here. Here's a saddle. So, I achieved my goal, and I got the tutti fruitiest colors ever. Now the male has a slightly different coloration in the underbelly. If you look in the underbelly, it's not the same as these ladies. These two ladies look more like, um, yeah, they, they look more like um, the original dad, which is the one I bred over there. And so, just show you the daughter they all have 7,000 health being born this is their stats being born 7,000 2,000 stamina oxygen 940 food 8 82 80 weight 744 and melee is 341.1 no mutations as you can see no mutations so this is a clean female. Her mom is the same way, a clean female. And this is a clean male. At least it should be. Let me double check. It's got all the stats. You see? And it's got no mutations. So, barring mutations that do occur now and again, I can breed these three and have 
a 287 thylacolio upon birth with those stats you just saw. I can put an imprint which will boost some of those stats and then I can put levels into it which will boost the stats even more. And out of all those stats you might put a couple in weight and that's that's pretty much it when you everything else you can put in speed or you can put in whatever you want all the extra levels you get but when it comes to mutations for these things at this point really nothing else has to be mutated except attack and health that's it attack and health and these give an opportunity to breed a uh, a line to breed a breeding line that is very organized in other words if you get a baby that has a mutation in in a stat that you don't need that's not attack or health you can disregard the baby now the only thing about these guys is they do take a long time to breed because just like the Ravengers I don't know if you guys were with me when I was working on the Ravengers you just it just takes forever uh, because you got to go, you put a put them in a line, then you got to go grab the babies, cryo them, and all that. Um, Toilet colio uh, don't produce eggs, so you can't put them in an egg incubator and then look at the stats that way. They have a new device called an egg inter incub egg incubator <laughs> that uh, will allow you to see the stats while the egg is still in there incubating. They, the thing cooks it down to about a minute and then you put it out there in a minute you have hatchlings so I don't have that device yet uh, matter of fact I can try to find it right now oops wrong one yeah so I can make one Up to 10 eggs, requires electricity to run, going to be fabricated, a fabricator, requires any grims, they can fire 45 point grims. So I basically, it looks like I already have it. I don't know how I got it, but I did. So I could do this. I can build like a bunch of these. But like I said, this is a temporary base, right? And these are for eggs. They usually use these for the larger eggs because a smaller egg, like a tech raptor egg, for example, because I'm going to get into those, those tech raptor eggs are very small and they only take 12 minutes, 15 minutes or something to hatch. So you can just dump them there and then 15 minutes later you'll have a bunch of babies. Uh, the egg in incubator, what it does is it allows you to see all the statistics. So what you could do with that is put 10 eggs in there and then take out the eggs that have mutations or they have like a, a another two levels or another four levels those are the ones that you know have mutations they went up in level you can take those out and then dump the rest of the eggs that don't have any mutations so you basically put the eggs in there and take out the eggs that will have mutations and then dump the other eggs that don't have mutations you don't even have to bother hatching it and then put another 10 eggs and then take the mutated ones out you can tell by just looking at the level as long as you can see the level and let's say you're at level 250 and you get a 252 that's a mutation you pull that out so what you'll do is out of all the eggs you get you'll be able to isolate all the eggs that don't even have mutations and throw them away and, and, and the ones that do have mutations, you put them aside and let's say out of uh, 25 eggs, you get a couple of mutations. Well, that saved you a lot of work. Normally what I do is I'd hatch them, wait for them to go ahead and hatch, and then uh, cryo them, all of them, and then go one at a time, just like I was showing you guys, go one at a time to do that. But with the egg incubator, you can save a lot of time doing it this way. I just never bothered with it, but it seems to be worth it. Look at the price is not bad. 
all this stuff I can scavenge. Uh, electronics I can get. I, I have a lot of electronics as it is. Uh, metal I have. Poly you can get by killing mantis. So CP I have. I can do these. I can make like 10 of these things. Put 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here. Go to the beginning. Pull out the mutations. Pull out the mutations. Pull out the mutations. Put them aside. Uh, and then get rid of all the other eggs that just don't have the level. You know? So if you're at level 250, your mutation is going to probably be 252, 254, maybe even a 256. If you're really lucky. Because that's, that's got to be the rarest thing ever. But it's possible to get like two or three mutations on top of that. So you pull out anything above 250, dump the rest of the 250s, and you literally saved yourself a shitload of work. Then, once you've got all your mutations, aside you put them back in the incubator to finish your incubation pull them out and you're and they'll be ready uh you know they'll have a, a minute cool down time so one minute later after you throw them on the air conditioners they're ready to go so this this is a pretty neat thing uh yeah that's nice i gotta get me some of those started up pretty soon I'm glad to have the engram. Oh, and uh, at the event, I'll, I'll post a video later for the event that happened uh, today. It's uh, June 10th, Friday. Uh, June 10th, Friday, 2022. Um, I won, uh, well, everybody got a chibi, but I got a Tech Raptor chibi because eventually I'll be doing some Tech Raptor consolidations. These I'm definitely going to uh, be taming uh, well I'm taming right now uh, most of them are anywhere from 40 to 50 point level technically they can all be 50 point level technically but we'll see I'm gonna keep trying to find them they're hard to find they're hard to find tech raptors are rare so is this chibi this chibi is technically rare but I really like it I think it's cool I named them Sparky Look at that. Look at Sparky. Yeah, I, I put the Phoenix aside. I still have the Phoenix that I was running around with, but it keeps flying getting in my face. This way it won't get in my face. You see, it's on the ground. So, anyway, uh, that's what I've been working on. And I was trying to get this red, which is more like a, a, a purple or, well, it's kind of reddish. It's not like a bright red. But I was thinking this red on this green would make it look much more like an actual watermelon. Now, don't get me wrong. If you look at it, I know it's not very bright right now. But if you look at it, there doesn't seem to be too much difference. But this is much brighter than this one. You know, I think that the green on this is just like a watermelon. I mean, you got to look at it. It looks just like a watermelon. I, I've had a watermelon like this. They look just like that. And the pink does do it justice. But I think this red would pop more. So I, I just bred these guys to try to see if I can get that color. And <laughs> sure enough, I got a mutation. So the best thing to do is I'm just going to keep trying with these guys. And seeing what it looks like. Uh, that would be cool. If I could get a baby... Preferably a male or a female or something. A male would be preferred, actually. It'd be easier to pass it on. But if I can get a baby that has that coloration I want, I could breed it with these females until they can get, you know, what I really want. You know. Like this male. Technically, I can breed this male. I should breed this male with that one, with the watermelon one. Because this, you see that pink there? This pink comes from that male over there. That's the pink. You see? That's the pink I wanted. It's like a pinkish, reddish. It's supposed to be more red than pink. But it's not dark. It's not like a dark red. It's like a luminescent red, I guess, you could say. Let me uh, see. Uh, yeah. You see, it's like a luminescent red. 
I put this in there and it'll look just like a watermelon but it'll be like a really cool watermelon I think it'll look, look cool if that doesn't work then I'll just breed off the uh, that other red and just leave it at that but I think it would look like a a slice of watermelon you know what I mean that's <laughs> I think that would be cool I was gonna go for the green ones like these other lime green I got another yellow one you see and you can mix and match and try to get that going. And there's a there's a the purple one over here. You know. There's this purple one. Who he doesn't have a lot of levels, but you know, he's only twenty-five, but he's got that color. And it's a nice purple color. And I saw this green and I was like, oh that green's so nice, but that the other green on top, that dark green, doesn't go well. So I figured, well, maybe if I put this dark green on there. You know what I mean? But you start you start really getting into it. What made this green work is the cyan underneath. The cyan made it work. You know? So this cyan on this red one would look nice. Um, you know, something like that, maybe. I don't know. This one has white, as you can see. This is the food mutation. It, it does have some, it has a lot of the stats, except the stamina. It didn't have stamina, I think it did have melee. But this one has a mutation on it, the food mutation. Uh, yeah, mutant food. I just took them out, I put a bunch of levels on them. Just to show you, this guy didn't even have all the stats. He didn't even, you know, I think he's a five out of six stat. He's, he made it up to 322, just running around. So anyway, any of these should be more than enough to kill almost anything in a, in a cave except a rock elemental. You can't kill a rock elemental with one of these guys. I mean, you could try, but that thing will kill you before you kill it. I did get a drop with a better Thylacolio saddle, which helps a lot. Uh, yeah, check it out. I mean, there's... Yeah, like if I got this Cyan on him, that would look cool. You know, that's why I was going to just start breeding those to see what they look like. But anyway, for now, what's really going on here is I don't need any of these females over here. I don't need not one of these females. All of these have become obsolete. Because the most they have is four. Yeah. Here's uh, Thylacolio. 283. No mutations. And... Uh, She doesn't have the oxygen. That's it. Yeah, well, it's a girl. So anyway. Yeah, the color I originally like with this white this white and blue one. But I can't imagine what would look good with this. Like if I take one of these up here. Oops. Take one of these up here. See? Let me get this one out of the way. Unless I can find something cooler, you know? Yeah. So this one has white on the bottom. This one has uh, a kind of white. It's more like a... What can I say it is? It's a... It's almost like a different color paper. Like a paste or something. But this... If I were to change the bottom of it with that cyan, like, like I said, I had this although it's a female bred with um, see this male 
how would that improve it any? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't look like it would improve it any. Because that's a very poppy color. These two colors pop. These two colors pop. But I'm, I have the cyan on this one. And if I put cyan... Oops, let me back you up a bit. So if I had cyan under this one, it wouldn't look any better. See, some of the colors are like opaque and some of them really pop. That's a real difference here. Yeah. Yeah, so the birds are coming along. I'm really close to getting a bird with all six of the stats. Remember, these were mutated. These are really mutated. They're really, really mutated. As you can see, they're really mutated. So I'm trying to get all the mutations because remember I got a male and a female and both of them basically had half, half of the mutations. They were complementary. So if I got five out of six, which means I'm only lacking one stat and there's a couple of ways to get it, but it just takes time to, to breed those animals. I'm just glad that, according to this, I only have 81 tames. But I don't think it's counting the ones that are in cryo. So what I have to do is... Oops, excuse me. I'll go back in there, and I think I already had 260 animals. So what I'm going to have to do is get rid of some of these animals that I don't need. And I, I just like the watermelon look a lot better. But I don't know. Maybe that red, maybe that red is too luminescent. Maybe that red is too luminescent for the green. You know, now that the sun's come out, let's go back and take a look at that. Yeah. This. I'm going to back him up so I can go in front of him. And, uh, matter of fact, put him like that, and I'll put her back up like this. Oh, I thought I heard something. I haven't heard from my neighbor in days. I don't know what happened to him. My neighbor, Aaron. All I know is he owes me money. So let's look at this objective. Let me take off the, okay. So can I imagine, let me, uh, there we go. There. So can I imagine these two, what would it look like with that red on the bottom of that green? Wouldn't that look like, like more like a slice of watermelon? Wouldn't that look much more like a slice of watermelon than the kind of pinkish? She's got like a pinkish there, pinkish hue. But if I get that red on there, that'd be just like a watermelon. I mean, literally, a slice of watermelon. It'd be amazing. <laughs> now, the thylacolio, as far as I could tell, they only have three color boxes. But the way they blend the colors... It's like they make like a, those stripes are just white. So it makes it, a, it, it still has the same color, but it's a lighter version versus a dark. So they have shading, light and dark shading to make the stripes. But it's only one color. Um, yeah, I think that the red would be better off than that pink. So I have to breed the red and that, those two greens off of these two animals. And it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But since I'm not really mutating the uh, thylacolio any further, I'm going to leave him as a consolidated tame for now. Uh, all I have to do is just uh, kind of wait it out. And um, these guys, unless I have a bigger base... I'm not going to do anything more than consolidation. 
what I will do is I'll try to breed the colors I want on there at least. But that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And of course, as you know, I have green hair. If you uh, look at my hair, let me stand. Uh, let me stand here. Let me stand here. I look up and then press K. And as you can see, see, her green matches my green, kind of. Except I don't know why I have blue, blue eyebrows. But anyway. You see, her green matches my green. That's another reason to do it. You know? You see? It's green, baby. Green! So anyway, that's just another bonus. But I think it would be awesome to have, be running around in a, in, a, in a cave killing stuff on something that looks like a big slice of watermelon. <laughs> I just think that would be funny. Anyway. Alright, so I'll just leave them out here. They'll be fine. Oh. He's already healed up. So these ladies are pretty much ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to go ahead and retire most of these. I'm going to retire this guy. Pretty much everything you see over here is going to be retired. There's no reason to have it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have a lot of saddles left over. Ah. Uh. Well, at least I achieved my goal. The terror bird uh, breeding, uh, breeding, uh, the terror bird breeding uh, program there is pretty much on hold for now until I can do something else. Oh wow, I didn't know it was that low on meat there. Okay, so I have to take their saddles off, cryo them, take them over there to the kill zone and let uh, let them be killed off. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can keep this one as like a color sample, I guess, but it's not a male. I don't, I don't, well, wait a minute. Don't I have a male that, oh no, he's uh, purple and brown. Yeah, I got rid of the last male that I had like that. Oh, well, these ones don't, these ones didn't even make it to get saddles. <laughs>
some of these colors are really damn ugly. <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll probably keep a, a sample of some of them. Um, uh, the gray ones. Uh, the gray ones. Well, I could keep this one as a gray sample. I'll keep this one as a gray sample. It's not exactly... You know, it's a solid gray sample. Yeah, this one I don't need either. Ironically, all this extra food goes right in here fine. Because there's other things eating from this trough. You got that? Yeah. Yep, it's just base maintenance again. That's all this is. Go outside, baby. You want to be out there all night in the heat? Oh. I'm gonna put her out. Are you sure, Mama? So, let's continue here. And let's see. Yeah. Because when I put meat on them, sometimes they eat off the trough as opposed to the eating the actual meat. I wanted to keep that blue, that blue and white, but, you know, I just like, nah. The orange doesn't really do it. The red, I think, is a little too pinkish by my standards but I think it I really think it'll look good on the uh, on the bottom of the one that looks like a watermelon I really think it'll do a good job that's why I'm very I'm very pleased with those possibilities I've never actually bred something for its colors completely like I'm about to try you know the only reason that didn't work out is because I got a mutation over there with those two breeding. So we'll have to keep trying and see what happens. So just remember, this is what they look like at max level, 287, which is really damn good, guys. 287 is nothing to laugh at. That is a good level for a consolidated anything, okay? <laughs> just remember that. Their max level in the wild is 150. Max level for the tech raptors is 180. That's why when I consolidate the tech raptors, I expect to get maybe around 300, 320, maybe. 
once I get good samples, I don't have really good samples now, I can start consolidating them, the tech raptors, and start coming up with something that is superior. But uh, th that's it. That's all I can do uh, with them. I did look at the stats, and, and I, I am happy with those stats, but I wouldn't want to stop looking for more 180s. Because uh, when it comes to the Tech Raptors, that is a project that I want to do perfectly. Yeah. So, yeah. I haven't even named them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should just put, like, all stats or something. Seven. All stats. That's how I usually do it. You could do it that way. I, I do prime. I can also do prime, but prime is reserved for those that are actually going to be actively breeding. Right now, I'm just going to put all stats. That way I know they got all stats. Oh, yeah, baby. That's beautiful. These guys are ready to rock and roll. I'm hoping to get that food put on here and get me a male with food on there. These are all at four stat, so they're close. But that's a different series. I've been putting that aside to focus on the Thilo and the Argentavis to try to make more space. Uh, yeah, here's another one. Uh, oh yeah, this is one I'm gonna save for the colors. I'm not big on orange, but uh, I will save an orange too. Okay. Now when I I do these things to these animals. I'll just save one of the primary colors because the orange is on them too. Orange and red's over there. So I'll just do that. So these guys, what I have to do now is cryo them all, slaughter them, and probably cook their meat. That'd be the efficient way to do it. So I need to get a bunch of cryos and do that as base maintenance. And that will reduce the number of animals I have active on the map, which will mean that I'll look less uh, bulky. I'm so happy that, that I finally finished the consolidation. Finally. Let's get these guys killed off. Try to get my uh, count down. I think that the, the thing shows the, that I have 81 animals, but I think I have 81 animals uh, alive, not in cryo. I don't think it's 81 animals total. I think that's too low. So it's probably just doing the ones that are alive, not the ones that are in cryo. Now, you can technically... You okay, Mama? You want to go outside? She wants to go outside. Another cat wants to go outside. What do you know? Anyway, so let me continue this, and they're going to be slaughtered. Uh, it's funny, I started out with this one, and I was going to try to get, you know, a white stripe down the middle or something like that, but that watermelon's funnier, man. <laughs> the watermelon one is just funny. It looks so much like a watermelon, you know. It's too bad they only have three colors. If they had more than three colors, it'd be even more interesting. Maybe you could put... You know, get some black somewhere so it looks like it has uh, seeds, like watermelon seeds. You know, that would be nice. Oops, sorry. Come 
mal. I was thinking maybe I should put my tech raptors here and start breeding them. But what I have to do is I have to go through my animals. And just like this, I'm eliminating a bunch of animals I really don't need. I have to do the same thing for the Megadons, which are the sharks. The Terror Birds, I also have some there I just don't need. Uh, get rid of them. Anything I don't really need. Now there's a bunch of birds there I don't need, but I'm going to wait till they're consolidated and then I'll start eliminating ones I just don't need. I'm so close, I need one more stat on those birds. One more stat. If I can get that one more stat on a male and female and get all six stats, then I basically reconstructed a breeding line that somebody else threw away. Somebody else saw, well this only has three stats so I'm going to throw it away. And they threw away the egg. But they also gave the opposite sex with the other three stats. <laughs> so I, I'm like putting that together again, you know. That's funny as hell. So I could use birds like that to uh, go ahead and kill the manticore. They have more than enough of a basis to to do that, but they were they were mutated. Uh, quick and dirty so that that's why they have those millions of mutations because they weren't mutated correctly it's they did it the improper way yeah all right So those guys are done there. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. So we got to go kill these guys off. Also, I have megatheriums I don't need. and I just have to go through the animals and get rid of stuff I don't need. These are just going to be for colors, color samples. Like here's a nice white one that has white. That has white. Um, that one has like a paper. Or mustard, maybe it's a light mustard. Like this one, this one is the same color of the other one. Uh, I just can't imagine anything. And you know what? These probably aren't even worth my time. The only exception would be uh, the melee mutation, which is over here. This guy has a melee mutation. So this would be the first guy to breed the melee mutation out of to produce a male that will carry the mutations for melee and you take this guy you'll have one for melee one for health and those are the only two mutations you accept i was going to add an additional food mutation but i don't really need it eight thousand food is plenty it just isn't necessary where is it yeah so i don't know it's just like, like this is really cool right and you can get the cyan you imagine that with the cyan the cyan right here you see that cyan if you put that cyan on the bottom it look kind of cool or if you put that cyan uh, on the bottom of this one it might look a little cool but that cyan's kind of a bright poppy color it goes mostly with this bright poppy color but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I'm going to go for the damn watermelon. <laughs> it looks so much cooler, you know. It really does. So much cooler. Look at that. Look at the watermelon. Look at that. Look at that. Who wouldn't like that? Look at that. Look. Look at the watermelon. And I put that on there. That's going to look. That's going to pop. Be like a bright slice of watermelon. Let's see. Let's put this on. 
So this guy has is 140 and she's only at 20. Maybe that's why it mutated because of the level difference or something. But anyway, I have to get that red on the mail. I have to get that on a mail. The green I have to get on the mail. The red I have on a mail. But I'm trying to get a mail with the green and the red on that. I'm trying to get the, a mail that looks like the mom with the two greens and the dad with the one red. If I can do that, then I can have my watermelon thylacopio. <laughs> So, all right, so we're done there. Put the birds aside for now. Let's just go kill these guys here. Oh, I got a bunch of meat on me already. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Eh. Let me move these guys out of the way. Dude, what are you? This is the food mutation. I don't know if we even bother with it. Yeah, I think I will get rid of some of these. I, I'm just going to dump them. Because I don't really need it. Okay. Uh, looks like this stuff really burnt out there okay so let's go over here get this raw food out of here all right so far at least my camera hasn't glitched. The sound hasn't glitched. What else? Oh yeah, I need gas. I'm glad I made that extra gas. So I'll go ahead and get this started. I'll start cooking that. I'll take this guy over here so I can kill off these unnecessary babies. Look at that. It's a slice of water.
go dump some of this food, put it in the thing, and then come back around and finish off the rest. Because if I think too much, I'll get overweight and I won't be able to do much. for now anyway. I'm probably going to kill some more of those stylos. Though. I think I'm just going to get rid of those quote unquote extra colors because they're not really they're not really that great or impressive. Yeah, since uh, let's get rid of this one. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to do the watermelon one. I don't want to have all these extra creatures. This one's an exception. He has to stay because he's got a melee mutation. I'm going to get rid of this yellow one. My bad. Get back in cryo. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I don't want any distractions. And I don't have the space on my base for this. In reality, I overbred. So... I have to go ahead and try to get rid of this. I'll get rid of this one too. Nobody's gonna want a brown thylo. <laughs> this one's sweet, but eh. I found the other one. That one's much nicer. And this guy too. I don't know. I just kill him off. And let's see, this one is food mutation. And it's not really worth it. It's not that much more food. And that's it. See? I got less less clutter on the base. Put these things back. And uh Yeah. That's fine. Let's go finish up the babies. We'll kill the rest of these off. Just try to get that watermelon y thing done and see if I can do it. And if not, I'll just use the the colors of the thylos that I have now. It just depends. My babies are coming back in again. They're gonna have to wait. Go ahead and get my cat in. Oh shit, she's bringing something in. What do you have there, baby? What do you have? What is that? Is that a, is that a toad? No, baby. No, 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 no. No, baby. No, no. Leave it alone. No, 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 no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone.
All right. Let's see, what is it doing? I'm trying to put some of this stuff in the fridge. Let's see. I put some of it in here. I'll go finish off the rest of the thylos. Let's see, do I have space? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier just to grab the food or the the uh, meat put it in there go back kill the rest of them instead of having to go out and kill a bunch of other things you know just kill these don't need them anyway so yeah I was gonna do that green one there because it looks so cool but I'm like, oh, I like that watermelon it's so funny it's much funnier than this one It's a different kind of green. It, it's not the kind of green that pops. That's why technically you don't want the kind of red that pops. But the red, you know, I can always get a better red later maybe. But still, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's an interesting thing. I never had a custom thylacolio before. Let's see. Raw. Let's see. How much can I fit in there? Ooh. No, all my fridges are uh, at capacity, right? No, this one's still has them. Oh, I got it. Just enough. Just enough to fill them up. And I also got a bunch of this. I ran out of storage for the base. So I'm like, damn it. That's because I, I need to I find a more permanent base. That's why I'm running out of space. So what I've been doing is I just put this on these animals. Because this, this stuff is light. It doesn't really weigh anything. And I only use him for berries. But I'll use him for this for now. See, he's got plenty of weight on him. Uh, he probably he probably get uh, slot capped though. So this one goes back over here out of the way because this one is actually very important this is the first melee mutations and when it comes to getting mutations once you start trying to do mutations you just forget about trying to keep any color consistency that's why I'm trying to get that color on the consolidated versions replace the, the, the uglier ones I have now with consolidated watermelon versions and then, you know, I'll worry about mutations later. I need a big base just to do this one animal because they don't produce eggs. They, they, they birth it. Uh, I was used to work on uh, Dodicarus and like these ones, this is the Dodicarus. I'll tell you, 
I had to create a base designed to cater to the shape of their body and put them in a very concise lineup to get them all knocked up at once. And even then, I rarely got mutations that I wanted. You know, it just takes a long time. It's not going to happen fast. So these guys are good. Yeah, baby. So all these deaths served the purpose to get a 287 all stat, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So now that I have these guys done, what I'm going to do is get those two I'm trying to tinker with over here. Instead of leaving them out here without a trough, which is bad. Oh, no, they have a trough right there. But still, let me go ahead and bring them in. Uh, matter of fact, since I'm breeding them, I'll put them on this side. Here. That's nice. It'd be more convincing that if it had uh, a little bit darker things, but like I said, there's only three colors there and some light and dark shading. That's it. Not going to get more than that. Okay. Hopefully the next one won't mutate. But uh, technically this one should be killed off. But, like I said, I'm trying to get the colors on one, and then I can take a look at it. If I don't like the end product of these two, I'm just probably going to keep the colors that come with it. Just deal with the ugly colors that come with it. I'm only going to try once to breed those colors off. Um, what else we got? Blue Streak has a point. Yeah. <laughs> need to kill some alphas all right so about an hour let's see I could wait on the Argentavis but I already have the females isolated now, the only thing is, I forgot which one it was either Dad or Baby Six, and I forgot which one. So. Alright. So, I'm thinking I gotta get rid of some of these, some of these birds. I gotta think about it. Terror birds. I'll do the terror birds tomorrow morning. And go from there. One melee. Ooh, yeah. See, he's only got five out of the six stats. He's lacking stamina, but the stamina is really close to, you know, what it's supposed to be. So he'll get that stamina. Uh, most of these things are going to pass, so it's going to be real easy to get that melee mutation off of him and put it on a male that has six stats. It's going to be real easy. Just have to breed him with those females over there, and boom, you're going to get it. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be sweet. Anyway. I think I'm going to end the video. I'm going to take a break, lay down for a while, watch a movie or something, and just chill out. It is pretty late, I think. So I keep forgetting where is my, oh, here's my phone. If it's real late, I might just call it. Yeah, it's already 2 o'clock, dude. I'm going to have to call it. It's pretty damn late. Uh, I'll put this down here. And... Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go see uh, the Jurassic Park movie with my friend. And we'll go.
go from there. So this I have to go ahead and just cancel this out. Uh, I, what I could do is, let's see, I do have a, no, I have two slots. Wow. Let me see if I have a refrigerator. Yes, I do. I'll put another fridge down and uh, that'll be fine. Just to go ahead and uh, let's see, can I place it here? Or should I place it like over here? I guess I can place it over here. There we go. Powered. Turn that off. Take everything out. Try to access that. Put everything in. And then uh, put the... Uh, that'll preserve the meat a little bit for tomorrow. I'm just going to call it. And, uh, whew, that's going to be sweet. That's going to be sweet. Oh, man. I've been trying to reconsolidate a thylo for a long time, but with uh, practice, you get good at something, and I, I, I feel as though I'm good enough at mutations and breeding now that I can make whatever monster I want now. In the game, anyway. <laughs> I wonder if I can get that yellow drop up there. Let's grab that before we retire. Ah, oh, man. So, I, I ate a lot of vegetables. I ate like a whole orange, half a grapefruit. Uh, because I'm not big on grapefruit. Uh, and in the morning for breakfast. And it, it didn't do anything much to me at all. And it gave me a lot of natural energy. And I eat canned fruit. Any kind of fruit is really, really good for me. And I was worried. I thought that if I'm diabetic, I shouldn't have any sugars at all. And that's Those things are full of sugars. But they're full of natural sugars, you see. They're natural sugars. They're not bad for you. Natural sugars are easy for the body to break down and absorb. The sheepies. Uh, so what did I get? A hat and a freaking motorboat. Uh, there was one time I got like seven or eight motorboats at one time in one drop. And it was it's just a fluke that happens now and again. It's just funny. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this thing's all fold up, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Where am I going to put this junk? I'll put this here. Yeah, I need to find another base location. I'm so glad I got the, the consolidation to my first mutation on the Thylos. Whew. I almost can't believe it, but it's true. to try to hit the sack but uh, anyway yeah vegetables you know like you don't want to have too many carrots you don't want to have too many bananas because bananas have a lot of energy maybe have half a banana and then later on another half of the banana I have to watch what I'm putting into my body but at the same time I don't want my blood sugar to drop so low because I'm having nothing but greens 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 have it there. My sister recommended pickle juice or uh, pickles. And pickles are a zero calorie uh, snack. And I just happen to love kosher pickles. Those are my favorite. Even the, especially the little ones. I like the little ones more than the real bigger ones. It's just, it's just me. I guess because it's, they're more bite size. And they just have, they're crunchier. When you bite into them, they're crunchier, the small ones. Versus the big ones, which you got to really work on to get that broken down. Uh, okay, I think we're done there. 
Oh wow. We really, really got the job done. Yeah, we just clean house. I made my decision. It's gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna be watermelon type. <laughs> anyway, and we got a, we got an awesome tech raptor chibi. The tech raptors, they're like from, from lower 40s to 50. That's where the points are spread, and it's pretty good. I could basically start consolidating the tech raptors just to have a consolidated version available even if I tame a superior raptor so that's something to consider on my part uh, anyway let's see I did get some information but I got the information later in the day when I ate bread I only ate one slice of bread cut in half made a half sandwich out of one patty and some cheese and then I ate uh, uh, broccoli with butter and that was really good but the thing is I've noticed that bread even a tortilla crackers uh, uh, anything bread you know a muffin I think that's what's been doing me in this whole time is the bread even the whole wheat bread all that bread has just been screwing me over that's why there was this lecture by a lady on TED, which is an educational uh, program for uh, doctors and people, people or experts that want to give an opinion. Well, her people eat nothing but meat and vegetables, basically. And they're doing fantastic, you know. But the thing is, uh, I went vegetarian because I empathize with the animals. I don't want to eat them. But the Native Americans, they didn't feel bad about eating the animals because, you know, the Great Spirit provided them. And when they would eat an animal, they didn't torture an animal like some animals are tortured nowadays. What they did is they were thankful. They thanked the animal for its life. They thanked the animal for what it gave. And that's much more respectful. I don't know if that abolishes, abolishes you of any karma, but that's one way to, to go around that. But uh, my mom had gout, and they warned her not to have red meat. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking about it, and I'm trying to be open to possibilities. But uh, I'm going to test the food like I was telling my friend Saul on the phone. For example, one of the one of the foods I eat is eggs, right? Eggs like a potato and egg taco, uh, 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 egg uh, in the morning, like a an omelet or scrambled eggs. So what I was thinking of doing is this: test myself in the morning, get my you know my fasting blood level, blood sugar level, take a look at it. Okay. Usually it's between 160 and 180, which is always going to be high, really. And then just eat eggs all day. Eat eggs. See how inflammated I get. Because I notice if I have a lot of veggies, if I have too many veggies, it inflammates just a little bit. But if I have just a, a little bit of veggies and I wait, like that broccoli wouldn't have done anything to me. I get very little inflammation. So I'm thinking, gauge this based on how much inflammation you get on your on your toes and on your, there's a spot right there, you know, like here's your toes, here's the toes of your foot right here, right? Right here, I get inflammated right here, mostly. And it can get pretty high, pretty high up. So some foods like breads, like when I eat a pizza, will inflammate this. Tacos will inflammate this. Tortillas, like uh, flour tortillas. I believe that corn will do less of a, an effect, but I could be mistaken. Like I had corn chips and the corn chips made me burn a little bit. So corn or flour may be bad. That's the thing. So that's just something I, I'm trying to analyze it and break it down. But anyway, it's really late. It's 2 o'clock, so uh, this episode of Twisted Soto is over. I have a bunch of episodes that I'm behind on for uh, uploading, and so we'll go ahead and do it that way. 
Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This is all good because later on in the future, I'll be able to look back and play some of this stuff and reminisce on the old days. Take care.